Yep. Big bubbles, no trouble. Yep. Thank you. You want to do one of those cross beams as well? Yeah, uh, we're gonna do a tripod this time. All right. Start by cutting these equally long. Yeah. So. That should be plenty. How much spacing do you want between them? Oh, 10 centimeters. Hello. Hi. Ah, brought some water. Hi. So I found a piece of birch bark. Yeah. For our project later on. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, a small piece, but the best piece I could find from a dead birch. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we will. You will see the technique doing it at least. Yeah. But uh, preferably, you would like a bigger piece of bark. Yeah. Up on the bottom, yep. and then overlap like you're building a roof on your house. If you ever done that, <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would you like a soup or chicken nuggets for lunch? Mm. Why not chicken nuggets? Okay. Delicious. Looking good. Nice.
This was actually nice. Doesn't take much spot in the backpack. Easy to just fry up. Yeah. Good outdoor food, I say. Yeah. Yourself. Yeah, it's our uh, first camp yeah. down there. And a lot. Yeah, could check it out. this mountain and over to the next mountain. Yeah, let's go. Sunshine. Yeah, it's really beautiful. really nice and it's so completely silent so it's really nice and quiet not much going on I don't know how much sunlight we have left uh, maybe like an hour hour and a half or something before it gets dark so let's head back to camp and see how our fire is going we left it burning could see the smoke from uh, the mountains we just passed so might as well check up on it anyway everything's been uh, great so far uh, really enjoyed the stuff Adam has taught me I've learned a couple of things so uh, super thanks for that Adam Here's our birch bark. Yeah. We soak for a couple of hours. Yeah. It's good. It doesn't need to stay longer. Should be good. Sweet. We'll try it. Try yeah. it out. Yeah. Some nice uphill walking too. This is 
where I sleep. This is Adam's luxurious super bunk bed. Yeah. <laughs> The water is a bit more murky this time around. Yep. Yeah. yeah, a bit too fresh. Ah, thank you. Can you just use it as a normal yep. toothbrush? Sweet. It won't be as good as your normal, but yeah. it will work very it good. It will be better than my finger. Yeah. Have you seen me do one of these before, the pinchers? Uh, I don't think so, no. Okay, because usually I stop the crack, but I won't do, do it now. You take roots and just uh, tie them around. Yeah. Then you stop the crack here from going all the way down. Oh, okay. Um, just so you can, uh, yeah. Just yeah, so it stays this way. Yeah. Otherwise it will be like this. Yeah. If I had a, a tie, a knot here, yeah, you wouldn't be able to do that. Really careful here because I don't. This is the only piece I have. Yeah. Usually I would grab a couple just in case one breaks. Like so. That's one corner. So far so good. This yeah. might work. We won't be able to boil much water at the same time with this small piece. Yeah. We would need either a couple of these or a bigger one. So, this is not the best bowl I made. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's w very brittle up here. I will try to fix that somehow. Maybe can take the last yeah. pincher. Yeah, better. Now at least it won't crack anymore. Yeah. And then we need to fill it up with water yep. and put the stones in. Yep. Yeah. Now we're just waiting for the stones to get hot. What many do we have? One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, that's perfect. Small one. Yep. Takes some time. But uh, it does that when you try to boil water with stones. <laughs> yeah. You can do the same thing in a plastic bag if you dig it down in the ground or like a plastic bucket and such. Yeah. There's a lot, lot of different ways to boil water with stone. But yeah, one more stone in it and then I feel quite safe to drink it actually. Yeah. Yep, big bubbles, no trouble. Yeah. And you can see also when you put down one stone now, everything yeah, around everything it boils. Boiling. Yeah. So this this will be way more than enough. Yeah. Let's see. Bottoms up. Okay. Start to figure out where I'm going. <laughs> yeah. Warm. <laughs> yeah. It is smoking hot, so. Yeah. But it does work. Yeah. Taste a lot of coals. <laughs> yeah, I bet. And but a little bit of dirt. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. It was ex actually three and a half mouthfuls. Yeah, not bad. I'm happy with that. Yeah. And yeah, 
I've learned a new thing. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. No problem. It's much easier to form now when you had boiling water in it. Yeah. Yeah. You can basically do whatever you want. So should we burn it? Yes. Yeah, so token. So token. Thank you for the water. Yeah. Now we'll use some metal containers though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably a bit more convenient. Yeah. It's a fun way. Yeah. You can also like chop out a tree trunk or anything, so you get a small bowl in it. Yeah, and, and do the, the same thing. thing. Yeah. Or in um, cliff or mountain or whatever. There is a slope in the mountain, so you can use that as a bowl and ah. throw in sto stones as well. Yeah, so you get a, like a bigger pit. Yeah, exactly. It is burning quite well for being that <laughs> way. <laughs> Birch bark, natural oils. Yeah, some more water for boiling. Yeah. yeah, the water in the small like survival bowl wasn't enough for sure. <laughs> it nah. will, you will have to boil water constantly with those to get enough. Yeah. Time for food, you say? Yeah. What do we have today? Kragar <laughs> pit. It's uh, this delicious, it's like pork and potato minced. might be the fire or it might be the food but suddenly it doesn't feel so cold <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. yeah brushing your teeth with the bushcraft tube brush yeah <laughs> the one and only yeah it is so yeah after a couple of days out here in the woods it's uh, pretty nice to uh, have something to brush your teeth with yeah. I forgot mine so and uh, we'll be sitting here by the fire talking for the post Two, three hours maybe. Yeah, something like that, yeah. And it's soon time to go to bed. And I think we will sleep awesome in our own shelter. <laughs> yeah, 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 you don't have to <laughs> roll down. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. And I can stretch out yeah, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice and warm. Uh, this shelter is actually big as a hotel room. <laughs> yeah, it's really big. I'll put on my head porch as well. Yeah. But the guests should sleep comfortable and nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah, that's about it. So we'll see each other tomorrow for a fast goodbye. And uh, then hopefully we'll see you in the next video at the Log Cabin Shelter. Yeah, good, good night. night, guys. See you tomorrow. Two nights in uh, all natural shelters. Yeah. Today we will hike to the log cabin shelter. We will spend the last night and yeah day there. Yeah. 
and we'll have some awesome food. We'll do some maintenance, uh, both maintenance on the shelter and gear maintenance. Yeah. So that will be nice. So stay tuned for that video. Mm -hmm. uh, one more video with uh, Charlie. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so far. Yeah, thank and, you. And uh, it's time to hike to the log cabin shelter. So yeah. see you in the next one yeah. and over see there. Ya. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos at Adam Arrow Outdoors. Share it if you want to, that would be much appreciated. And hit that bell button for notifications to never miss out on a video. If you want to support me and join me on this journey, I recently opened up a Patreon account. So go ahead and check that out. All the links will be in the description below. That was it for today. I really hope to see you back in the next one. Until then, take care and stay safe.